Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on this GATE 2022 Mathematics. Today we will discuss the question related to 31 to 35 with the help of shortcut tricks. Myself, Dr. Garg, working in the School of Mathematics Thapar Institute. You can simply follow this link for finding the various previous videos related to this GATE 2022 examinations. You can see this is my playlist CSR net GATE examination and the channel name is Dr. Harish Garg where you can find the, all those previous year papers. So let's start with this video, how you can uh, solve all these questions which is carry one marks within a few minutes and so on. So how you can find the maximum value of this subjected to this. So there are the two methods are there. First one is you can find by using the Lagrange multiplier and second one is the by using the direct method. What is the direct method? You can find the value of the x from here, 10 minus 3y and then you can substitute this value of here. And then you can find the maximum value means you have to take the partial derivative, uh, derivative with respect to x is 0 and then check whether the second derivative is greater than or less than r here. Another method is you can define this Lagrange multiplier like of this g is my this is my g. So that is quite easy so I can try for this way. So x square minus y square minus lambda times x plus 3y minus of 10 is 0 minus of 10. Now for the maxima or minima this partial derivative and this partial derivative must be 0. So you can find the value of the x from here. What is the value of the x? x is nothing but minus here. Similarly from this you can find the value of the y. y is nothing but minus this value. I can substitute this x and y in here. You will get the value of lambda that is a minus is plus of 10. So minus of 10 is my 20, lambda is my minus of 2. So therefore, what is the value of the x? x is my 1 and what is the value of the y is? y is my 3. Now once you get the value of the x and y, it's a single value are there. So it means this is a maximum. There is no need to check. You can directly substitute this value here. 49 minus 1 minus 9 is answer is 39 is the required answer. If you get more than one value, then you have to check whether it's a maximum or minimum. But there is only one value, so that is must be the maximum is there. So answer is 39. Okay, look about the next one is there. Again, you have to find the local minimum at the point A, B and so on. So clearly sees that if you look about this function, have you what thing uh, come in your mind when you think about that? Definitely the first part is you can do like this way. First derivative is 0 and then so on. But if you look about this, this function, what is that? This function is symmetric with respect to the x and y. Why? Because you can clearly see that f of x, y is nothing but f of y, x. So whenever the function is symmetric, then the, at that point, the local minimum is always occurring at the point of a is equal to b. Here it is given that the local minimum is occurring at a comma b. But whenever the function is symmetric, you should remember that the minimum point is always occurring at the point A is equal to B. So the first condition here is A is equal to B. So your right answer will be my 2A cube. Now how you can find the value of A is B? You can use this derivative. So what is that? 2x plus y minus 1 by x square is 0. So since A is minimum occurring at the point A comma B, so it means it satisfied that B is nothing but my A. So 1 upon a square is 0. So can you find the value of this? 3a minus 1 by a square is 0. What is the value of the a cube? a cube is my 1 by 3. Similarly, because a and b are same, so the b cube also 1 by 3. So the answer is 2a3. So answer is my 2 divided by 3. You can convert them into the two decimal places as 0 0.66 is the right answer. Look what the another one is there. So what is that this is the ordinary differential equations and it is just like say a uh, Bessel or Lysander functions maybe are there so if you look about this function any of the function which is of this form look at that if I write in the general form of this here and the solution will be and one of the solution is will be of say y of x is a solution in the form of x r of a n x n if you think about that this is maybe the Frobenius method are there so but what what you can do you can take the second derivative and substitute here and then get the equation but there is no need I will tell you the shortcut tricks behind these questions 
whenever whenever this condition holds and the solution is given to you here then what is the condition on the r the condition on the r is given to you r r minus 1 plus p of 0 of r plus q of 0 is 0 that's a simple shortcut fix for you what is that if you compare them this equation with here what is the value of the px px is nothing but x what is the q of x q of x is nothing but my x square now if you if you look about this value sorry uh, it is x into px x into px y dash plus qx that is x square x and here so what is the px is if you compare them now the p of x is nothing but my 1 so substitute this value here you will get the right answer what is the p of 0 p of 0 is 1 what is the q of 0 is a 0 so what is the answer of this you can see r square is my 0 so once r square is 0 you can substitute this value here what is the right answer of this problem is 1 is the right that is a simple shortcut trick for you you just remember this rule compare them with the x square y double dash x px y dash plus and so on okay look about this one this is the Bessel function is given to be here and your target is to find the value of here so clearly says that the value is given to you of this so for what value of the alpha you can consider here clearly says that if I take alpha as my half if I consider alpha is half then it will be my minus half of x this is my plus 3 by 2 of x alpha is half so it's 1 by x of half of x now we all know what is the j of we all know what is the j of half x this is 2 upon pi x sin x what is the j of minus half x this is 2 upon pi x cos x now your target is to find the value at pi so clearly says what is the value at x is pi this sin 0 is 0 so j of 0 cos 0 is minus 1 so it is my minus 2 upon pi x so this value is my 0 this value is my minus root 2 upon pi x plus j 3 by 2 of pi is my 0 so what I can do j of 3 by 2 is my minus 2 upon pi x now I can take the scaling j square is my 2 upon okay uh, pi x x I can also substitute this is a pi square so it is a pi square now what is that it's a, so now you what is the meaning of that there's a pi square of j 3 by 2 square is my 2 I can write it as this square is my 2 so the answer is my 2 is the correct answer this is a simple way you can do that now look at this uh, important question is there so uh, partial differential equation is transformed to this and your target is to find the unknown b a b c that's a very simple about that i just simply tell you you can convert this equation into this what is the value of the a what is the value of the b and what's the value of the c i will tell you the simple shortcut fix for you so if my function is like this way is say cx plus dy you can see a b and c then I can find the value of a in a simple manner like of this so it will be my 7 a is the coefficient of the xi so I can take this x square that is a into c that's a simple task about that so first one is for the xi that is my here so coefficient of the x is here is a square plus 16 x into y that is the xi of this so I can write this value as a b plus 4 times b square okay this is for similarly for the c c is related to the eta so i can start from here this is 7 7 x square that is a c square plus 16 is a c multiplied by d plus 4 times d square that is the value of the a that's a c now how you can find the value of b so b is again from here b is re related to the xi and eta both so i can write this value as xi and eta that means x and y so i can firstly written as x and y so how you can do that i can write this value firstly with respect to this uh, like how you can do that uh, i can write like x and x that is a ac this is with respect to the eta 
xi and eta but eta and xi are also the same so it's a twice of this plus similarly for i can write for the y square there's a eta there's a bd so it's a twice of bd now how you can write this portion is this is my xy that is my ad plus bc ad plus bc are my right answers are now you can substitute the values we can see what are their answers so 7 what is the a if you compare them you can see a is my minus 2 b is my 1 c is my minus of 2 d is my 7 so you can see this is my 4 is a 16 a b is my minus of 2 plus 4 b square is my 1 so 28 plus 32 minus 32 is 0 so what is the meaning of that a is my 0 so whatever the value of the c there is no need to compute this is 0 so the only answer is my b square upon 12 cube i can find the value of this 2 a c so it is plus 4 it's a plus 8 ad minus 14 and minus 2 it's a minus 16 plus b into d is a 7 14 are there so what is that this is my 56 minus 256 plus 56 so what is that it is nothing but my what is the answer is my minus 144 is the right answer so we can substitute this value here minus 144 cube uh, square divided by 12 cube so what is that this is the 12 raised to the power 4 upon 12 raised to the power cube the answer is my 12 is the right answer of this problem so this is the way you can solve this with the help of the simple shortcut tricks like this we will, I hope you can simply learn the very shortcut tricks for solving such kind of the problems. You can find some another lectures from 36 to 30 again with the help of the shortcut tricks in my next lectures. Till then you can simply follow this playlist. You can like, share and comment this video with your friends. Happy learning. Thank you.